What's up DRSers and welcome back to Coach Jay's front yard. All right guys, so we have one with only three movements today and we're only doing two rounds. So pretty straightforward, pretty much all we're gonna do is we are getting after it. So for those three movements in our time cap for each of those two, two rounds, we're gonna try and complete the following. We're gonna do our wall balls, our lap run, and then come right back in and crush the rest of those chest to bar pull-ups. Now we're gonna be moving. We're gonna use those legs and arms. Then you can kind of shake it out when you do that lap run and then finish it out with a little bit of more arms, a little bit of chest. So how are we gonna do those and how are we gonna make those standards work? Well, here's what's gonna happen. So for our wall balls, when we are doing those, once you pick up that wall ball, that first movement is going to be all the way down into a full squat. So that squat means that your hips are gonna go below that knee, meaning that you are getting that full depth. Then you are gonna shoot up out of that wall ball, hitting that ball with the target each time. Now remember we have both of those different targets, but let's be consistent there. So whatever your height is for that wall ball, just making sure that you are hitting each time. So you don't want it to be hitting and then going lower or hitting and then going to the side, somewhere over there. We wanna make sure that we're hitting those two. So depth and hitting that target. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna drop that ball. I'm gonna hit after for that lap run. Now that lap run, you're gonna wanna go a little bit faster, get that done. So the quicker you get all these done, the more rest you have until that next round. So once you come back in, I would take a breath and hit those chest of bars, really just making sure that when you do the chest of bars, it is gonna be that bigger kip than a normal pull up. So making sure that we're going all the way through our kip and then really pushing back, making sure that we are hitting our chest each time, getting that chin above the bar, as well as getting it all the way down to the chest. So we are doing chest to bars, not just the standard pull-ups. Really going all the way through, make sure you're fully kicking and touching. And then very important, one thing that does help is once you're in that chest to bar position, push off so you can go back through your kip and then come back. So again, it should be that half circle. So I'm going, Starting out of that kip position, kipping through, back to my chest, and kipping through each time. Now, if you do need to modify for the pull-ups, when you're not doing chest to bar, you're doing pull-ups, there are different modifications, but let's pick something that's a little bit challenging for that, so that you come back in from that lap and you have a nice little finisher before you hit that next round. All right, guys, that's Coach Jay, and I will see you in the next home video.